a while back, we took a look at a pair of Adidas and Lego shoes. And that collaboration was on the ZX8000 model and of course was part of Adidas's A to Z series where they have a collaboration for every letter of the alphabet. Honestly, I think it's a pretty cool concept and generally speaking, I've liked a lot of the collaborations that they've come up with. And that includes today's pair of sneakers because this one, this one's pretty crazy. Today we're taking a look at the Adidas ZX10,000 Krusty Burger. So we have an all over white box. As you can see, it says A to Z series as well as has the Adidas logo on the front and you can see around the side. I assume they make it an all white box because there's just so many collaborations coming out of this A to Z series that, you know, they gotta kinda keep it plain instead of manufacturing a different box for every single collab. I will give you a little look at that size tag on the box. Of course, just says ZX10,000 Krusty Burger. But let's, uh, let's slide these open. Obviously, Krusty Burger, a collaboration with The Simpsons. We'll get into that in a minute. Let me just pull these shoes out first. You do have some special paper in there which does have The Simpsons logo and the Adidas logo. But uh, let's pull them out, guys. Let's pull them out. Here we go. Today's pair of shoes. The Adidas ZX10,000 Krusty Burger. These sneakers are crazy. It literally looks like a freaking cartoon. Look how crazy that looks. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the custom that people were doing where they'd take an all white pair of shoes and they draw like a black outline around all of the different elements on the shoe to make it look like a sketch or a cartoon. Obviously this one has those black piping outlines, it's just in color. So you get some extra laces which are in black and kind of just says the A to Z series on the aglet. You also get a little bag with some additional little lace tags for the front of the shoe. So straight out of the box it comes with a kind of light blue one, of course has the Adidas Torsion logo. However, you do get some additional colors a red a green and then this one which actually looks really cool is the actual Krusty Burger logo of course has Krusty the Clown on the front as well and that one's actually made out of metal so that's gonna look really dope on the pair of shoes goes with the colors very very well These released on February the 12th, they retail for £100 here in the UK or $130 out in the US. I think what I really like about this pair of sneakers is the references to The Simpsons and specifically Krusty the Clown is actually pretty subtle. So you don't necessarily have to be a diehard fan of The Simpsons or Krusty the Clown. You can just appreciate the materials and the colorway. And let me tell you, those materials and this colorway is actually pretty awesome. Obviously, if you are a fan of The Simpsons and specifically Krusty the Clown, then you are definitely going to have a plethora of little hidden details about this shoe which reference the program and the character. So there's a super cool mix of materials on here, which I think is what I was first impressed by. It's just the, the diverse amount of materials and different feels and textures that you get on this pair of shoes.
and it's all kind of wrapped together with this black piping which again just makes it look like a cartoon. There's a mix of canvas, neoprene and a kind of felt feeling material as well as around the back almost I guess a almost carpet feeling material I guess the best way I can describe it. The neoprene kind of acts as the base material so you'll find that on the toe box, the medial and lateral just underneath these three stripes as well as the tongue. It comes in a kind of pale off-white color to represent Krusty the Clown's complexion. Obviously he's a clown, he's wearing clown makeup. Also find that same color around the toe box or the mud guard and this comes in a kind of canvas material. Just above that there's a tiny bit of red in a felt material and I guess this is a reference to Krusty the Clown's nose. And as you move up onto the shoe you get this brown colored canvas material and that you can see on the lateral and of course the medial side and on both sides of that you can see embroidered down here by the midsole there's these little kind of beige speckles. That's obviously a reference to a burger bun which has sesame seeds and I think that just looks so so cool. Right in the center of the shoe you have this pink felt material and just on top of that on the lateral side you have the torsion logo. Now you also get that pink felt material on the inside of the shoe as well and just above that you have these three stripes in a kind of teal color and that again is on both sides of the shoe. Now one of my favorite details about this is around the back. So if you move around to the back you can see it's kind of like a carpet material and that's a reference to Krusty the Clown's hair which again comes in that kind of teal color and right in the center of that you can see there is an Adidas trefoil logo which is embroidered into the back. Again it's just such awesome attention to detail and really brings this shoe to life and it's kind of like if you know you know and if you don't you just kind of have to appreciate the colorway and all of the materials that is on this shoe. At the top of the tongue you have the Adidas trefoil logo in a very colorful scheme of course to match the rest of the shoe and on the reverse is where you find the Simpsons logo. The insole comes in a kind of yellow orangish color and of course has the Adidas logo as well as the Simpsons logo. Again just to tie in the two brands or the two companies working together. This is definitely one of my favorite pairs of shoes from the A to Z Adidas series. It's just such a cool pair of shoes. Obviously the references to The Simpsons and again I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of The Simpsons or Krusty the Clown but I do really like this pair of shoes which I think is why it's so cool to me is because you don't necessarily have to be the biggest fan of The Simpsons in order to rock this pair of shoes. I really do like the colors that are on here. I think it's a just a very well done collaboration pair of shoes. Now as for sizing I would say go true to size that's how it fit me and that's what I would recommend. But but hey, that pretty much wraps it up for me here on this pair of sneakers. Thank you guys so much for coming through, hanging out, liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. Again, let me know what you think about these down in the comment section. But hey, I'll catch you all in the next one. But until then.